Hi everyone, I'm Kay. Um, <clears throat> so I have a spinal cavernoma and that's at T1 from two of my spinal cord. Um, so about five years, I think it's five years, time doesn't make sense anymore does it? But I think it was about five years ago, um, <clears throat> I was at work and my right side started going tingly and when I moved to the side I'd get weird feelings and then I started getting a numb patch on my ribs um so me being me rang the doctors they were like uh we kind of need you to come in I was like yeah I'll come in after work that's fine and they were getting a bit annoyed at me <laughs> but yeah that turned out to be my first bleed and Unfortunately, I didn't get an MRI until a month after the symptoms started. Um, so by that point, everything had settled down. Um, they'd seen that I'd had a bleed and that they'd found this cavernoma. Um, I got a appointment with a neurosurgeon and he basically said to me, it's fine, it stopped bleeding, carry on, you'll be okay. If it does bleed, you might get paralysed, but we'll see we don't want to do surgery um so I was kind of just left to my own devices with that one um I carried on working I was working about 50 hours a week um pushing myself too far as people do um but after about six months any problems that I had from that first bleed any numbness any weakness had completely gone um so I was obviously not being checked up by the neurosurgeons or anything like that. Um, and then 18 months after my first bleed, I started getting a bit of pain in my back. And I did have one day where my right leg went weird. And... I tried bringing the doctors and they didn't have an appointment so I just carried on um, and that kind of subsided. Um, two weeks later I woke up on the Friday and my legs just dropped under me. Um, I somehow stood back up and I bumped myself down the stairs because I was like my legs feel weird. Um, I went to hospital that day. I actually had a day off work and um, they had to fight to get me an MRI for some reason. Cornwall's hospital is not fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and they sent me home with some steroids because I could see I'd had a bleed. There was a bit of swelling on my spinal cord. Um, so they sent me home, told me they didn't really give me any advice. So I just carried on. I went to work the next day. I was a cleaner. Um, and then I realised I hadn't actually been for a wee for a long time I hadn't noticed I went the day before and then that day I just could not go to the toilet my legs felt very strange I started to feel really weak and very tired um, I did my full shift at work but luckily I was just supervising so I didn't have to do much um, I went home I still felt weird still couldn't go to the toilet Decided to go out for a meal because it was my auntie's birthday. Uh, <laughs> and then during this meal, my legs were just completely going. Um, I was walking around like I was drunk. Everyone was having to carry me. I was getting dirty looks from people. Um, so we went to the hospital. Um, we went to the community hospital first and they catheterized me because obviously that was the main problem at the time. Um, at this point I could still sit up I could still walk if someone propped me up um, and they sent me to the main hospital um, unfortunately they left me in the waiting room for a few hours and by that point my legs went completely I couldn't sit up I couldn't move my legs um, and they the next day they sent me off to Derriford because they didn't know what to do with me. They didn't know what a cavernoma was or anything like that. Um, luckily, the neurosurgeon in the Plymouth Hospital, um, he knew about cavernomas. He was a brain surgeon um, and he'd come across them before. So he was quite clued up. Um, he didn't want to 
do surgery because my cavernoma is it's inside the spinal cord pressing on the back so he basically said if they do surgery then they would have to sever the spinal cord and there'd be no chance of learning to walk or anything like that so this way at least there's a chance to recover if it wants to if not then there's no harm with not doing surgery basically um so i was in the plymouth hospital for about a month um and that was just to get me stabilized because my breathing and oxygen had gone down quite a lot i was um after a spinal stroke or a spinal cord injury your blood pressure really drops so managing to get out of bed is very difficult um and then after a month of being in Derriford, they sent me to a spinal rehab unit um that was in Salisbury so that was a good three and a half hours away from where I live um I was there for six months and then I went back to a community hospital in Cornwall for two months and then I finally got a house so I spent nine months in hospital and unfortunately I regained nothing back I've kind of got my torso my back muscles can fire up but I can't sit up on my own I can't my legs do nothing um and the spinal unit they're really good they basically they taught me how to live independently in a wheelchair my boyfriend helps a lot he's my full-time carer now um and it's it's weird it's normal now it's they they really do teach you how to live your life in a wheelchair it's it's not that hard it sounds weird but it's great and from a cavernoma side of things now i'm i don't have the anxiety of having a big bleed now so i've had that scare taken away from me and they don't see the point in doing surgery now um and if it does if i do have a big bleed again then they might consider a surgery because in the beginning my arms did go very weak but luckily my arms came back pretty much fully um so unless my arms decide to go again there's no point touching it we're going to leave it be i have no mri scans now um and it's basically yeah just living how i am now um i know if my cavernoma is going to play up because i've obviously been through the worst bleed so i have basically got to go to the hospital and tell them what to do this time i've been told by my neurosurgeon don't let them leave me in the waiting room this time um and yeah i think that's it really it's just very it's been an interesting ride um but it's actually been quite a positive one because i've actually gained a lot from it i've met a lot of amazing people through it and even though life's a lot harder now obviously i'm not being pushed into work this year's obviously put everything on hold i wanted to get back to college end of this year but i'm gonna wait as i want a year to just enjoy life and do what i want to do and then next year i might go back into college and then get into work again so yeah i think that's it really <laughs>